Jesus is Lord. Praise to the one Amen. who loved us so much Lord. that he was willing to die on the cross for the sin of mankind. Amen. Praise to the Alpha and Omega. Praise to the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Amen. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. That's it. That's better. We say Today both. Is good. We say both. That's good. Muhammad is a false prophet. Jesus is Lord. That's good. That's what we're going to say. Go on, continue. Jesus. Today, oh, today, oh, once again, yes. we saw this man that called Muslim people, stepped in and sent in and then messed up more and more in this pro broken world. Today, we want to talk about what happened recently in Oxford regarding the Guru Minkan. Yes. That's what people die for. So, That's what people do you know people? Oh, uh, he might snatch it. He might snatch it. He might snatch it. Do you know these people? Do you know these people? Do you know them? Have you seen them before? You've never seen them? They are Muslims. Tell them about the church. They're Muslims. Yeah, so, we have, Why don't you we have people here. About the pedophilia in the church. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down. Who has been on your clothes or what they have done to I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm focused. Muslims, we're doing pedophilia. Don't divert. We're doing pedophilia. We're doing grooming gangs. What they've done to little girls. These men, these men, you don't like it, do you? You don't like it. You don't like this. Stick with the topic. All you Muslims, stick with the topic. We're going to talk about grooming gangs. If you don't like it, that's your problem. Listen. Every single night in South Africa. Those are some lovely Muslim names so who have been involved with abusing, 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 accusing, using and grooming girls yes. from age 12 to 16. Yes. They have been just sent to prison. Is this just an Asian problem, Hatu? Two different things. He's a white, you're a black. So who are those people? That, that's not a question. Wait. That's not a question. That's not the question. Who are these people? Doesn't matter. They could be a Jew. So you're not answering the question. You're scared, isn't it? You know they're Muslims. He's not scared of you. Some people who has been sent to prison because of their action towards the girls. Yes. This hypocrite. Why don't you speak? Why don't you speak about the scandals on the media? And it takes place in one of the very clever places in England, in Oxford. Don't want to hear it. Yes. Okay. So Christian. They said. They kill, they rape, they do everything. Doesn't mean you're a brother. Wait, wait, wait. Not only they rape. Wait, wait. We'll talk. We'll talk. Wait. They were like a grooming gang. Not like they were grooming gangs. So grooming is what is grooming, brother? Your brother. Yeah, you want to read it? Read that one. Read that one. Grooming is sexual immorality. This is not grooming. 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 This Yes. To gain the trust scandals, in the purpose charges. of and using the them for their yeah. sexual pleasure. Yeah. So what happens like is this, in Thailand because people in Morocco, they you pick will the notice white girls, the people they pick the non for such a thing. They say they and they use protesting. them for their hate. own sexual K -K -K. pleasure. They are protesting. Let me ask you a question. This guy let me ask you a question. Against, hey, let me ask you a question. Listen, sir. The what does your prophet say against, about them? 
That's what you've been What does your prophet say about them? Your prophet. This liars. What does Islam say about them? Answer. Answer. What does Islam say about their actions? If they did something wrong, they should be punished. What does Islam say? Not you. Show me the Quran. Show me the Quran and the Hadith. That's it. The problem with you is you don't know your Quran. You don't know what your prophet did. Let's see. Let's see. You obviously you know better than I do. No, no, no. No, no, he's all right. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. She said no, that's it. They should be punished. Yes. Like so. According to Islam, this they do something wrong. According to According to Islam, did they do something wrong? Muslims, we're waiting for an answer. According to Islam, did they do something wrong? You have nothing to say now, isn't it? We don't live in a jungle. You have nothing to say. You have nothing to say. You have nothing to say. Wait, does the Bible condone rape? Yes or no? I'm not talking about the priest. I'm talking about the Bible. We're going with that the Bible and the Quran says. According to Islam, did they do something wrong? According to the UK government, they did something wrong. Exactly. According to the UK human being, they did something, something wrong. But did they, did they do something against teachings of Islam? Hey preacher, hey preacher, that's what they say. They don't know their Quran, they don't know their theology. All you can say is, hey preacher. We're going to read the Quran. So, let's look at the Quran. Let's look at the Quran. No, no, what, what makes this people Let's Muslim? Say, We're going to read the Quran, sir. So, what makes individual Muslim is do they go so to mosques? Do they pray? She's answering do your question. She's answering your question. Come? Exactly. Non Muslims cafe. Do they ask right? people to convert to Islam? Those are the actions and the phrases more than most people as Muslims. Exactly. Of course, today Muslims. To deny this grooming gangs because they know how the society is broken because of the Muslim grooming gangs. Yes, and we show it. Yes. Therefore, they want to deny that. But this is unbelievable. This is a Islamic problem, and Muslim must reform and deal with those things. Let's see. According to Islam, did they do anything wrong? No. Let's read what the Quran says. So let's look at the Quran. What does Quran teach us about the non-Muslims? They are unbelievers. We don't, we don't talk about it. They are against the Pope. They are unbelievers. They are kafirs, And they are the worst of creatures. That's not the Islamic language Quran uses. Oh, yeah. What does Quran teach us about uncovered women? It teaches us that they are allowed to be raped because they're showing they're allowed to be abused. Well, the abuse in Islam According is sexual. to Islamic teaching, the way women is identified Muslim or not, one of society if they are covered. Yes. If you are not covered, you are, of, you are going to the um, abuse. Let's look at the Islamic teachings for that. Where we go? We go to Quran. Okay, we go to the Quran. Sir, if you're honest, if you're honest, what does the Quran say about them? A lot of gods take people. Surah 53, 59. Let's read what your Quran says. Yes. Tell your what they do. and your daughters yes. and the women of believers to bring down over themselves of their outer garments. That is not sensible that they will be known and not abused. abused. So, the reason believers are still covered covered yes. so they do not get abused. Yes. That already gives very, very low view to Muslim men about 
We just read it. The Quran no, no, not your Quran. Not your Quran. The Quran. That's the English version. Take the Arabic out. Who translated it? English version of the Quran. Every week. Arabic version of the Quran. Every week you hide behind Arabic. It's an old trick. It doesn't work. You hide behind Arabic every week. Every week. Islam teaches. Uncovered woman can be abused. Islam teaches decent women will never have sex outside of marriage. Yet they look at these young girls, age 11 to 16, and, and so if we're racist, is Muhammad racist? Is Muhammad racist? And you stand and abuse them. Stupid question. Answer the question. Who are these people? Who are these people? Let me ask you one question, yeah? You talk about Muslim grooming gangs, yeah? yeah. What's about the English grooming gangs? No, 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 no. Who are, are the same? English okay. grooming gangs? Are they not the same? Who are the English grooming gangs? Yeah, you can't talk about them. Give us some. Give us. Uh, what about Jimmy Savile? Who is Jimmy Savile? Is he gangster? Who is Jimmy? Answer the question. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is just disgusting. If you use your brain, if you use your brain, sir, what's your name? Doesn't matter, Sir, what's your name? Hello, what's your name? Okay, if you use your brain, does Islam condone their action, yes or no? No, it doesn't. So what does Surah 3359 say? We just you did. Read it. What, does what does Surah 359 say? Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Calm down, sir. Calm down, sir. You are not comfortable with this. It's from the Quran, and you're feeling all here. Half Quran separates the head towards non-Muslims. Let me read it again. So listen. Listen. So let's just see you don't some need, language. You don't need to throw threaten him, you know? Hello, you don't need to threaten him. This is not Sharia law. No, he never said that. He never said that. Don't put words in his mouth. I said in his eyes. But he never said it. In his eyes. Are you God? Are you God? Are you God? Of course I'm not God. So how do you know what he's thinking? No answer. Let's, no answer. Let's let the Quran speak. This is your Quran. Listen. Let your wife Listen to your Quran. And your daughters and the woman of the believers yes. to break down over their own their garments. Why? That is unsuitable. Yes. They will be sold and not be. Are you listening? Are you listening? You're not interested in your own Quran. We read why the Quran condoned this. We just read it. So, okay, calm down. Surah 33, Ayah 59 says the women need to cover. If they don't cover, they will be abused. You're not interested. We are exposing the true face of Islam and you're, you're not interested. All you say is, we hate preachers. We hate preachers. We're reading your Quran. We just did. Do you have the Quran with you? Surah 33, Ayah 59 says the women need to be covered. If they're not covered, they will be abused. What about the Bible said to cover? They're following what your Quran says. I'm giving you the source. 
Surah 33, ayah 59. Go and read if you don't trust me. Can you read this one? We'll go for more, don't worry. We'll expose more. We'll expose more. Calm down. It says that on the Quran text. Okay. It condones it. It condones it. So, okay, to abuse from the Quran. Also, Muhammad allowed raping. Hey, hey, listen, brother, you need to listen to what your prophet said. Is it Sahih? Let's read it. Yes, go. The Prophet of Allah sent them to put it in the expedition to Nasrach on the occasion of the Battle of Umayyad. Yes. They met their enemy and fought with them. Uh -huh. They defended them. Wait, sir, wait, wait. And took them captives. Some of the captains of the Prophet of Allah were Remember, this is true. This is Sahih. Sahih. Sahih Muslim. So Allah. Wait, wait, come down. Wait, come here. Where are you going? Come back. Okay, come back, come back. Come down. So, are you, he's saying Sahih Muslim is unauthentic. Yes, go people go to war. Yes. Companion of Muhammad, sir. No, listen. Sir, can you just explain? Okay. Can you explain? Can you explain? Come, where are you going? Listen to what she's saying. Listen. All right, go on. Go on, go on. Go on. I just read a hadith that companions of Muhammad no, wait, 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 wait. Wait, with, uh, the girls, with the woman in front of their husband. I ordered the rest, I'm gonna read it again. And then suddenly, Allah sends a revelation to confirm that those men, companion of Muhammad, can have sex with those women in front of their own husband. Let's read the word. Sahih Muslim, sir. Where you go? You're gonna go now, yeah? You're gonna go. You're gonna go. Okay, show us that this one is weak. Prove that this one is weak. Sahih Muslim 34, 33. Did you hear that? Sahih Muslim 34, 33. Sahih means authentic. Did you know that? Brother, can you read Surah 4, verse 24 for us? Woo! All right, this is what it says. And also prohibited to you are all married women and those... Nikah, by the way. Sorry? All married women except those your right hand possesses. That is the decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are all others beyond these, provided that you all seek them in marriage. Your property desiring chastity, not unlawful intercourse. So whatever you enjoy from them, give them their due compensation as an obligation. And there's no blame upon you for what you mutually agree to beyond obligation. Indeed, Allah is ever not knowing. That's for me, wise and knowing. So background of the verses, there are women Companions of Muhammad wants to have sex with them in front of their own husband. Sorry, this is the background of Surah 4, 24. All right. In front of their own husband, and Muhammad says, it's all right to go ahead and have sex with those married women in front of their own husband. Allah steps in and then Allah says, all of the companions of Muhammad, let's go for it. It's funny that the Muslims are not engaging with what Muhammad did, but they engage. Those are the people who thought it was all right to force themselves into the young Sir, girl. we're reading your Quran. Those are the we're reading Sahih Muslim. You're not interested. It was all right to force Embarrassing Muslims. Embarrassing. Surah 24, verse 33. He's gone, look at Surah 24, verse 33. Read it. Gives a permission for the prostitution. That is what those people did. Buy and sell the girls. Make money from the girls. Surah 24, verse 
turned it today. Do you want to read it? I forgot I had the Quran with me. <laughs> it's a long verse. But are they interested though? Okay, the people watching, listen to this. But let them not find not until Allah enriches them from his bounty. I'm going to read the part at the bottom. And do not compel your slave girls to prostitution if they desire chastity to seek the temporary interest of the worldly life. And if someone should compel them, then, and, and then indeed Allah is to them after their compulsion, forgiving and merciful. Can you explain this verse for me, please, Hatu? Those people made money from teenage girls. Yeah. Non Muslim teenage girls. Yeah. And Quran in Surah 24, verse 33, tells us it's alright. Wow. It's alright. So you So he allows you to do it, and then. What kind of God is this, Matu? It is a God who gives souls and okay the grooming gangs. Wow. It is a God who doesn't see man and woman as normal human beings. It is a God who has very low view of woman. It is a God who doesn't even see non Muslim woman as women. There is no value in it. They don't value women. They devalue de women. Take the dignity and value of women away yeah. by saying you can rape the people in front of their husband by telling them if you practice the prostitution, it is all right. Allah will forgive you. It is a God who is responsible from proving guns. Yes. It is a it is a book that is okay with the grooming gangs. It is a book which gives okay and punishing to the grooming gangs. It is a god and it is a book which we do not want it. I have an issue with this law. We do have issues with this law. Okay, tell us why we're idiots. Tell us why. Why? Because you keep on talking about grooming gangs, yeah? You don't mention that. that you talk about Muslim people. We read the Quran. Listen, you talk no, about. No, we read the Quran. We read the Hadith. And we read the Tafsir. And that's why grooming gangs happen. So where, show me in the Quran where it says. No, 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 no. Show me in the Quran where it says. Wait, wait. We have to rape. No, that's still. Show me in the Quran where it says that. We rape. Surah 33, 59. Show me. Talk shit. Surah 33, 59. Surah 33, 59. Surah 24, 33. Sahih Muslim, 34, 33. We are giving you your sources. Grooming gangs are Islamic. You don't like it. Rape gangs. That's true. That's a good terminology. These are rape. These are not grooming gangs. They are rape gangs, Hatu. The media calls them grooming gangs. We call them rape gangs. Okay. Can you back that up from the Bible? Can you back that up from the Bible? Exactly. We're backing up from your own Quran and your own Hadith. No, 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 no. Don't summarize yet. Just get it. It's just started. It's just started. Surah 33, 59. Surah 24, 33. What do you think about your Wait. priest who appeared for us? We think he's wrong. He didn't follow Jesus at all. Jesus said, love and your enemies. We're reading your Quran. You're pagan. You're pagan. 
We're rapists. We're rapists. Are rapists are you listening to this? Yeah. We're, ra we're rapists. <laughs> you're racist, you're murderers, you're pedophile. Who did, who did, who did I kill? Who did I kill? Takia, 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 Takia. You don't know what nothing. Are you lying? You're an idiot. You're lying though, you're lying. You're an idiot. But you're lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'll take you're lying. You love kissing us. You don't know you're lying. Truth. You're lying. I said, show me the proof. Show me the Quran. I did. Surah 24, 33. Show me. Show me. Surah 33. 359. We've been reading it. Okay, wait, wait, I'm gonna show you. Just wait. Does it say rape murder? No, it doesn't. Wait. What is a prostitution? What does it mean prostitution? People are prostitutes. He's going. Exactly. You are going with your Quran. And a guy who smokes his cigarette. Talks about how to be a prostitute. Yeah, you're a Muslim. Wow. He's a Muslim, guys. He's one of your Of course you can. You're good against your religion. He's a Muslim. Prostitution. Alright, you want to know? Do you want to know? Do you want to know? I'm gonna read it for you. Why are you getting angry? I don't understand. I don't understand why you're angry. Why are you angry? Why do you hate us? I didn't hate you. You hate us because you're a fucking Muslim. That's why I don't like you. You don't like Muslims. You don't like. Are you alright? Because of the shit you see on the news, Muslim this, Muslim that. We're reading the Quran. Okay, listen then. Listen, I'm about to read it. Listen. You see, Islam is really, really dangerous ideology, and Islam does make that to you. Islam transforms and puts people. He needs to listen. If he doesn't listen, there's no point. Because we've been, this is, we've been reading it. Yes, sir. Prostitution. Muslim wants us to show the verse of prostitution, but rape and sex is involved. And then you can read the background. I come across with the prostitution. Which is not my wait, expertise. Wait, wait, wait. That people have hot chocolate together for money. In the prostitution, no. there is a sex involved. Jesus. In the prostitution, there is a rape involved. And Surah 24, verse 33. Rape. Allah is allowed in Islam. <laughs> You're laughing. Have you read the Quran? I have read it. That's why I'm laughing. Surah 2433. What does it say? The largest. What does Surah 2433 say? Let me tell you one thing. Can you translate what you have there? Translate what you've read there. Translate for me. Can you read it for me? Translate what you've read there. It's embarrassing. Let me read. Okay. Let me. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Let me read Surah 3359, and then we'll read Surah 24. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Listen. You've got two ears, one mouth. Listen. Just one, brother. Just one. All right. Okay. So, let's see. No, no, no. We're not talking about me. We're no, no, no. Don't divert. Do not Are you, are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Do not Are you a Muslim? All right, then. Let's see. This guy's going to get exposed. You don't know where you came into, man. We just Let's clarify. See. His clarify. wife is not covered. Let's see what Islam teaches about her. What does Islam so teach about women that are not covered? We're going to read it. But we're introducing it slowly. Calm down. Yeah? Do you have a problem with the women that Let me read it. Let me read it. Can I read it? Can I read it? Listen, your Muslim brother wants to listen to your Quran. I know, he's interrupted. I want everyone to listen. Listen, I want you to listen to Surah 33, Ayah 59. He's getting into it. We can read together. Are you ready? Are you ready? He's ready. Okay, this is what it says Oh, Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to bring down over themselves of their outer garments. That is more suitable that they will be known and not be abused. So someone is not covered, you're supposed to abuse them. That's your Quran. That's your Quran. So sexually. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord. Are you condoning this? Okay, are you how? condoning this? Abuse how? What kind my of abuse Lord. I think I so let's go. Can we can we list three things on what how they how they abuse this woman? They didn't do this section. Okay. Question. You're not listening. The Quran. It I is back the Quran. I back the Quran fully. 100%. Five of believers. Cover so you do not get abused.
That is what your Quran says. You cannot impose it. That verse has been cancelled. You know that. Surah 2, 256. There's no compulsion in religion. That's been abrogated by the violence verse. You are wrong. According to Ibn Kathir and Muhammad. I know. We need to focus here. Yeah. Let's focus here. What does Islam teach us about the prostitution? So, women who is not covered, they can be abused. Yes, that's but what the Quran says, not right. me, no tattoo. Right? I just read it. To have a sex with a woman in front of their husband, and it is, it is Sometimes prostitution all right or not. Yes. We already looked at the teachings of Muhammad, and Muhammad says, and divine revelation steps in two, Muslims, companions of Muhammad, can have sex with the married woman yeah, in front of their husbands. Yes, they're not interested. Look at them. They're and talking about themselves. Same Islamic tradition. Same Islamic tradition teaches us that prostitution is all right if you Let's do it. To grooming. So, no. What is grooming? That's rape. Look, yeah, grooming is rape. Right. It's rape. Right. Yeah, it's wrong. We're talking about rape. Right. So are you condemning your religion? I am not because my religion condemns. But your Quran says it. Sorry? Your Quran says no, rape is okay. okay. You told Sahih me. Muslim says it. Okay. Uh, we'll prove it again and again. No problem. No problem. Calm down, Muslims. Just calm down first. Calm down. Calm down. And the nine volumes of Sahih Bukhari. And the nine volumes of Sahih Bukhari. Raping is in Islam, not only raping young Muslims uh, is alright, even funny guy. even raping your wife is alright, according to Surah 2. I am not here to teach you one to one Islam. If you don't know basics of your religion, what can we do? We're reading your sources, it's not our fault. It's the book. We give you the background. We give you what the Quran says, and you're telling me I have to go and learn. Okay, tell us where we got it wrong. Yeah. You try to bring proof of rape, right? But it's Surah 2, 220. It's a discussion of covering, of the women covering themselves. If they don't cover, what happens? If they don't cover, what happens? How does that make... I'm answering your question. Listen, if the women don't cover, what happens to them according to the Quran? We don't know what happens to them. But the what? The Quran says they get abused. The Quran. I just read it. Don't lie, don't lie, yeah? You're lying again. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. You're lying again and again. We read it so many times and you're asking the same question. You remind me of the Pharisees and the scribes in the Bible. You don't listen, listen to what we're saying. Go and read. We read that, yeah, that's what we read. They should be abused. Exactly. To have sex with the woman in front of their own husband. Surah 20, Surah 2. We've read it like five times. We're going to read it again. No problem. We will. 223 gives permission to husband. They can rape their wives. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. You want us to read it? You want us to read it? Oh, he, he's hiding behind Arabic again. Another Muslim hiding behind Arabic. Arabic is nothing, man. It can, it can get translated. It's easy. It's easy to translate it. And we have Yusuf Ali. We have Sai International. We have Musin Khan who translated it. Yusuf Ali. No, from Arabic. The the Quran. Don't hide behind Arabic, sir. Sir, sir. I would love so you to why? give you opportunity to read the surah 4 verse 24 us. You don't even know the Arabic, sir. It is shame. I'm okay. not going to give you that opportunity. There's a Muslim here who doesn't speak Arabic, but he's asking us to read the Arabic. Yes, that always happens. And if I read the Arabic, <laughs> that was I get right? the pronouncing word nikah instead of zawaj. Oh, my and the is very ugly word. It has nothing to do if I can speak Arabic or not. It has been translated, yes. therefore we can expose we this false religion. We don't believe So, I can the speak same Arabic. points. Where are these our gentlemen? Let's conclude. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Bible is a Greek.
Don't call Kaluvia, this is fire time. Okay, the question is I'm going to ask without question because you ask me calmly. The question is. You're most calm Muslim. Are you a Muslim? Very good. We can, we can dialogue. Hey, sir, sir, don't interrupt him. Respect your brother and listen. Uh, listen, please. Listen. Calm down and listen. He's had boyfriend. You do follow. He's your brother. He's your brother. embarrassing. You. You're embarrassing, man. You're embarrassing. But he's the one who is responsible for He's asking who are they. We've been saying it for so many times. So, question is, where does Islam give right to those people? I'm going to read to you the Quranic verses. Who are they? Okay? Brother, hold this. So, Islam has very no view of uncovered power. Okay? So, Surah 23. That's before he is back. Yeah. Surah 23, verse 59. Let her read it. You're not going to listen. We read it five times and you're saying, let her read it, let her read it. This is the sixth time she's reading it. No, we're reading what the Quran says. Let the Quran speak. Let the Quran speak. Oh, Prophet, let your wives and your daughters and the believing of the believers mm -hmm. to bring down over themselves mm -hmm. part of their utter garments. Yes. That is more suitable mm -hmm. that they will be known yes. and not to be abused. Abuse. So, not to be abused. Yes. Wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 wait. You wait. You wait. You wait. Listen, she's talking. Listen. So, if woman is not covered, yes. they can be abused. Yes. That's okay. understanding. And Surah 24, sorry, Surah 24 oh, gives permission to rape. Okay? Where is it? 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 Context of this verse wait, wait, wait. comes but wait, but from you know. companion of Muhammad wants to have sex with non-Muslim married non-Muslim woman in right. front of their husband. We have it here in Sahih Muslim Sahih and Sunan Abu Dawood. We read the Quran first yes, and then the Hadith. But wait, Surah 3359, they don't get it. Okay, I'm anyway. talking Go. to him. Sorry. Go on, no problem. So, we established Surah 33, hey. verse 59 gives permission for her head. Hey. Hey. She has to shake it. Okay, calm down. Surah 24 gives permission to rape. Okay, so I, I would, wait, wait, and I would become alive. Also, also, Forbidden to you are all married women, except those your right hand possess. This is to declare of Allah upon you, and lawful to you are behind those that you seek them in you seek them with your property, designing chastity, not unlawful sex, unlawful sexual intercourse. They don't get it. So you don't get it, do you? Whatever you enjoy from them, give them their duty confession as an obligation. I'll read, I'll read, I'll read, I'll read, I'll read, I'll read. Let me finish, let me finish, I'm gonna give you time. Okay, can you read? When so he was there, he was there. Okay, listen, brother. We'll give you the background now. We'll give you the background. We're giving you the background. If I don't know what I'm talking about, go and check your sources. Let's listen to what the background says. Muhammad allowed rape and never objected it. Watch this. The Apostle of Allah. Listen, please. Listen. Listen. When I'm about to expose what Muhammad did, you're scared. The Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to out us on the occasion of the Battle of Hunayn. They met their enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captives. Listen, some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah were reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husbands who were unbelievers. So Allah, your God, the Exalted, sent down the Quranic verse, Surah 424, saying all married women are forbidden Unto you to save those captives whom your right hand possesses.
So, Sunan Abu Dawood, 2150, Sahih Muslim, 3433. If you don't trust me, go and check it. I just read it to you, man. That is the interpretation. Sahih Muslim and Sunan Abu Dawood. What is Sahih Muslim? Of what? Of what? I read of Surah 424. I'm lying. Yeah. I'm lying. I'm lying. Prove it then. It's come to your place of cultivation. However you wish. Okay. So, Surah 23 yeah. gives the person the Bible. of his uncovered problem. The Bible said, Surah the man is of my authority to the woman of his uncovered problem. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Verse you can't pick. You have to cover your head. I'm going to read that and I'm going to give you time to respond, okay? And you, show us how we're lying. So show us, show us, prove it then. Prove it then. Prove it, take out your source and prove it. Nothing, you have nothing. You got a Primark bag. You got nothing, sir. The temporary interest of okay. the world in And if the man should compel them, then indeed, Why do you after, follow your Bible? after they are you don't have to preach, man. forgiving hey. and merciful. Smile, you're on camera, so smile. And because of those verses, I, I said smile. <laughs> groaning smile. tongues are Islamic. Uh, it is sourced from your throat. They get the authority from your throat. Those are the visits who have been sent to prison in Oxford. So my response would be that the methods that are used to have uh, grooming gangs is through deception, uh, alcohol, and drugs, and so on, all of which are illegal and banned in Islam. Let me respond to that. So you abuse, are telling me, you are telling me, um, in case people didn't hear, that methods used by grooming gangs is the deception and alcohol that is not allowed in Islam. I am sad to tell you that we all know, it is interesting that you don't know, deception and takia is allowed in Islam. You know that better than Until me, the day of resurrection. You know that better than me because you are a Muslim. Deception and you, what? You know Allah is deception. the best of deceivers. Deception, what? deception and deception. Deception and deception. Yeah, takia. Yes. And we know Quran Surah Yeah, Surah 328. No, take permission. it out. We'll read it afterwards. So, deception is we'll read it. Is alcohol. Is alcohol. Uh, if alcohol is forbidden in this world, alcohol is available to you in paradise. And this left man are using this alcohol to kids. We do both. Always you attack the Muslims. And you are playing your friend away your I never attack Muslims. I never attack Muslims. You not allow me to be a woman. It is all right. So you said that Taqiyya oh. is that you're allowed Killing. to use Burning. deception, but that's, that's only in extreme that's cases. So, so, so we example, are agreeing that lying is all we right in Islam. Place, man. Come on. Cases, so sure. lying is all right in Islam. In extreme, so lying please, is all right. In extreme cases. Who makes that decision? Can I give an Lying is all right. What is extreme cases? And give us, give us, give us a quotation from the Quran and the Hadith. That is it for extreme cases that you're allowed to lie. I'm, I lack the knowledge about Taqiyya, but I know it's an extreme cases. Okay, now so all of a sudden you lack knowledge, but you're saying it's extreme cases. No, I don't know. Where'd you like, get it from extreme I cases? Don't know specifically. He means to prevent. No, he let him talk. Let him talk, not you. Not you, let him talk. I can hear him. He can talk. He can talk. He can talk, example, like he can talk for himself. And then looking for you. She can talk for and say the ex murderer asked me, do you know where Antoine is? I'd say, no, I don't know. It's in yeah. order to save a life. 
and also in war, you're, sometimes you're allowed to use it as well. Okay. Uh, for example... No, but give, give the basic, the basic line, line is haram. The basic. Yeah. It's the <laughs> basic line is haram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy, he, he needs to be exposed. They don't want to hear that. So what Muhammad did was haram, yeah? It's haram. Line is haram. What Muhammad did was haram. Even, even if you look at the... Even if you please, look at please, the Bible, please. In Romans 13, 9, it says that all of these sins do not commit adultery, do not steal, and so on, do not lie. Above them is love. So, you know, there's sort of a similarity. It's sort of is, if it's in extreme cases, then sometimes you're allowed to go beyond the boundary. Because even in... But unfortunately, sorry, sorry. Muhammad disagrees with you. And we're going to show you why. Sorry, sorry. Do you believe that's also? Let me, let me just try to understand. Lying is all right. Yeah. And in certain cases, in certain cases, there is a um, okay for that. One of the examples is to say for the someone else. The fundamental is that it's haram. For. The fundamental is that it's haram. Okay, okay, let's read what your source says. Allah lied, Muhammad encouraged lying, and then Quran encouraged lying. Okay. So, I'll give an example. Oh, we got so many examples. From biography of Muhammad. Yes, okay. let's go. And then also from the Hadith. Let's go. And none of those things are telling me, because someone is looking for Daniel, yeah. therefore I can lie. Yeah, so, let's see. So, he Bukhari, 559, 369, okay? Maslama said, then allow me to say a false thing. The Prophet said, yes, you may say. When Muhammad got a stronghold of him, he said, get at him. So they killed him and sent the Prophet to inform him. In this occasion, it is not about saving someone or not. To get rid of someone, they need to lie. And then Muhammad says, please go ahead. Another occasion. Do what you like, he said. Another occasion. So can you say that one? Can you say that one again? I don't understand. Let me read that part. Let me read that part. Did you read everything? Did you read from the beginning? I read the same part. I read the same part in 59, 360. What, this one? Yeah. All right, listen. Muhammad, Muhammad uh, bin Masalam said, Yeah. Then allow me to say a false th thing. In what yeah? context? And the Prophet said, you may say it. When Muhammad got a stronghold of him, he said, get at him. So they killed him and went to the Prophet and informed him. The Sahih al-Bukhari 369. Okay, so do you know what happened to Muhammad ibn Hassan? Basically, there was this Jew and he was, I think he was plotting against the Prophet. I think he was trying to assassinate him. And Muhammad ibn Masala, he knew the Jew. And the guy, the Jew, he was like hiding somewhere. Because you are lying. He basically, what Muhammad ibn Masala did was, he went there and pretended that he was his friend. And then he killed him. So he, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I just know the story about it. It's, it's like, uh, there's a book called The Companions of the Prophet by Abdul Rahid Hamid. And he narrates the story. And he says that this Jew was basically trying to cause a revolt and trying to kill so, so, our question was, was lying, you said, you will encounter using lying and that's unacceptable. And then I said to you, no, you can be him, lying is alright, and then you confront that by telling it. Oh, there are scenarios which is exceptional. For example, if, if someone is looking for Daniel, I can tell people, no, Daniel, let me at the same time. But the example I told you, did you confirm that this year, so, you are lying about this Jewish guy to kill him. You are lying about the guy to kill him. There is a takia which does not show his violation. So, since takia is acceptable in Islam, lying is acceptable in Islam, those lovely grilling guys thought it was all right to Please use these girls for their own sexual pleasure and also for other people's sexual pleasure and make money of them. It is Islamic. It is not only sourced from the Quran, it is being sourced from the Bible of Muhammad and from your Islamic teachers. And that, when we look at those people, when we read the stories of those girls, 
Because you're an individual put in layers to come to the no conclusion of the Islamic bond of religion. Uh -huh. It tells us Islam no, is a Christian of mankind. It tells us Islam is dangerous for mankind. As how many girls in Oxford? How many girls in our community? Of the thousands of girls and thanks to people who go to the parties, thanks to people who first join the conversation, thanks to people who get the law view of power from the crowd, who sees the prostitution law from the crowd, who sees rapists all right from the crowd. And that is unacceptable. Do you understand the historical context? So you need to produce your evidence for me, even if I go with your evidence. No, you're uncomfortable with us. Why? That interpretation, you're uncomfortable with it, so you say, no, we don't like it. That's what it says. It's been translated by an Arabic speaker to English. So I don't know who you are to say that. Sorry? I'm saying I'm talking about the interpretation of Sharia. The inter about what? Interpretation about of Sharia. Of being of Sharia, and what Sharia is. Have you studied Sharia? Yeah. Have you studied it? Good. No, you so have to create it. Okay. So what does it say? Those those girls that are not uh, that are not veiled, that are not covered. What does Islam say about that? It doesn't say it. It doesn't say that. Mother, mother, mother. How dare you point that out? How dare you point that out? Wait, so uh, give you like an analogy yeah, to it. Yeah, who says I have to? You're not study Sharia. Trust me. You studied a watered-down version of Sharia. Your the Quran is very clear. Sorry. Because of what she's saying, you're saying to me, an unveiled woman is not supposed to be abused. That's what you're saying. The Quran says. The Quran. Listen. The Quran says, if they are not covered, they will be abused. Brother, we've been saying that. Surah, do you know what Surah is? That's it. That's what the Quran says. I don't know what Sharia you studied. Lizzie, Lizzie, once they are uncomfortable, they say you don't understand. Once you are uncomfortable, you say she doesn't understand. Yes. No, to kill people, to protect people. Muhammad killed, ordered the killing people by using the takia, which is unacceptable. Read it, yeah. Women girls are using the takia as well. So let's just let's just summarize and then we'll move on and then we will talk to you. Can I say the story, Chef? We're talking. We're talking to him one by one. We didn't leave it. No, no, you're lying. We didn't leave it. No, we did not. We did not leave it. We didn't leave it. We're talking to him one by one. So, what we have here? Let's open it. Let's open it. Let's open it. Let's just continue. Let's open it. No, let's just continue. Let's continue. Can I read the names? I'll read the names for you. So, those are the people who sent the prison two weeks ago. Oxford Graving Guns. I read the names for you. Assad Hussein. Are you listening, yeah? Mulim Islam, Kamar Iqbal, Khalid No, 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 no. you're not interested. You ask, no, 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 no. no. Yusuf, Haji Khan. It's funny that he asked her to read the names. But the names are real. And he's not interested. What is the name? I heard the name. What is the name? What is the name? For grooming people, for grooming not people. In your, in your sorry, mind, all Muslims are Pakistani, yeah? They're not Arab, they're not nothing. They're just Pakistani. No, these are these. The ones, the ones that committed this rape. No, there are there are Somali. Do we have Somalians? Do we have Somalians? In um, Bristol, yes. Do we have uh, Afghanistan? Yes. Do we have Pakistan? So we don't talk about. So, so we have Somalians. I'm not about Somalia. Are they Somalian? No, we have Somalians. No, they are Pakistanis. So am I a pedophile? I never said you were a pedophile. I don't know you. What kind of question is that? 
I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Pakistan is a pedophile. I never said that. This is what you're trying to say. Oh my lord. Your brain is not working, man. Let's just finish. 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 Let's